Hello dear subscribers and viewers of Someone's Room. Uh, today I come to you to share with you the message. Simple message. I said devotion. Uh, like. So I believe it is going to help you today to get something that which you can apply in your spiritual life. Before that, let us have the word of prayer. Father, please, I beg you this moment. Put your words into my mouth. That what I speak may make somebody to come closer to you. Not him alone, if in myself. I may learn more about you. So I pray for the Holy Spirit to oversee everything that we are speaking and lead the words that I'm speaking and touch our heart and convict us that we make a decision to follow you always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, my friend, you see, the book of Psalm, chapter 27, we are going to read from verse 1 up to 4. Then I will give you explanation. Then we shall pray, short and clear like that. But pray that the Holy Spirit will help you to see the wonder of things which are in the word of God. The Lord is my light. From verse 1, chapter 27 of the book of Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life. Of whom shall I fear? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host, an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, this I will be confident. We see from here, uh, David uh, talking to himself that Lord is my light. And he is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He put in confidence in his God that he is the salvation. The Lord is my strength of my life. Means if I need to win the battle, my strength is not my muscles. My strength is not my weapons. My strength is not anything that I have physically or naturally in myself. But the strength is God. Of whom shall I be afraid? Say that there's none to get afraid of. Why? Because God is his strength. But he's giving the example that when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Means David, the anointed of God. There was a moment in his life when there were enemies who wanted to kill him, who wanted to exterminate him, who wanted to, to, to get rid of him, who wanted to eat his flesh, his killing and doing whatever, which can be done by enemies. But he said this, he did not fight against them. They stumbled and fell. Our battle that we are fighting God will fight for us. But we must remember it must be the salvation. It must be the light. You cannot make God to be your strength if he's not your light and if he's not your salvation. So uh, these verses depend on each other. You want God to win over your enemies? You want en your enemies to fall? You don't need to fight your enemies. You don't need to fight your enemies. You don't need to kill the devil. You won't need to kill the demons. But the, but the Holy Spirit, but God himself, will fight for you if you make him your light and your salvation. Then you shall not fear of anybody. We are fighting mostly. And I say we are fighting mostly because... God is not our light. God is not our salvation. We believe in God, but there's something we depend on, on our security, that God will put him in a lesser part. Like if God, you fail, I will try this. Then when the, the, the things come, which are tough, we forget God. We become a flight of those things. But we need to make God our light and our salvation, then 
we shall not get afraid of anybody. Um, Though an hostage should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Why? Because he put all his life in the hands of God. My friend, can we see today the need to surrender our life totally, completely to God? Can we make that simple decision? You don't need to think much. Like... Uh, maybe I have to wait. No, you don't need to wait to do that. You can decide today to give God con complete control over your life. And listen, verse 4 gives the biggest blessing. One thing I have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. So here there are two ideas people may think. And actually I will not say that this one was wrong or this one was wrong. Some they say we may believe that that he wants to be in the church always in the building. But he was a, he was a king. Okay, means he had the duties to work. But being in the temple of the Lord, the, the spiritual realm. Why you are thinking about God? I'm um, before the Lord always. I'm seeking God. Remember David, or the king, but still he was a prophet. And so, according to the Bible, and so what one says, we need ourselves to stay in the presence of God always. We need to desire to be in the presence of God always, and not to go outside of God. What, whatever I am, whatever I'm doing, I must be in the presence of God. And that's what David desired. And he said, one thing I've desired of the Lord. That's one thing. So what do we desire? We desire to have supremacy. We desire to be famous. We desire to have titles in the church. We desire to be known by people. We desire to get rich. We desire to get good food. We desire to get good cars. That's what, when we kneel down, that's what we remember to pray. But David, the man of God, he said this, one thing I've desired, and, I, uh, and that I will seek after. He desire, then he seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Why? Because he loved the Lord. How can you desire to be in the house of someone all days of, my, of your life if you are not happy with that person? Means David, he was happy with God. And to behold the beauty of the Lord. Means that he was seeing the beauty of the Lord. Do we see the beauty of Jesus Christ? My friend, it's better we make a decision again today. To seek this one thing and to desire it. I may not fear to desire it, but let me choose to desire. Let me say I desire it. Someone tell me, fake it until it, become, it becomes real. Say I desire it. I desire one thing. I desire the Lord because our mind. Okay. So friend, we need to desire the word of God. We need to desire to be in the presence of God. And so my friend, choose today to desire to be with God. To seek the Lord. To behold his beauty and to ask things from him. May God bless you. <coughs> Let us have the word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for this moment. Why have been with us? Let your name be alive in our lives, that we may seek you, we may desire you, we may depend on you and get afraid of anybody. Get never afraid of anybody. Help us to put